What we do is we basically start off uh, with explaining what the skid car uh, platform does as far as with the hydraulics, uh, the, the design of it. Uh, and then what we do is we talk about weight transfers, uh, we talk about the skid control, uh, but uh, we basically talk about decision making too. We can teach people to how to control themselves once they get into a skid, but the, the best rule that they hopefully will learn today is how to prevent from getting in skids to begin with. The reason cars skid is because you're driving too fast. And so what we uh, emphasize is slowing down a little bit in the inclement ro uh, roadway conditions. So it, it is about the uh, controlling the, the grip of the car, not about the controlling the slip of the car. Yeah, there's three different types of skids that vehicles can do, obviously. Uh, we can uh, simulate a, what's called a rear wheel skid. In other words, that's where the rear tires break loose from the ground and they start skidding. So that's, that's the one that most people are common with or have experienced, where the rear wheels start to come around uh, the side as far as they start to want to swap ends. Uh, so that's a rear wheel skid. And then we uh, simulate also what's called a front wheel skid. And what that does, it simulates you're driving too fast and you want to make a turn and you turn the steering wheel, but the car keeps going straight. So that simulates a, a front wheel skid. And then we simulate what's called an all wheel skid. And that's basically that nasty day uh, that you wake up and we've had an ice storm over the, over the uh, night and uh, it's right at freezing or we've had some freezing rain on the ground. Uh, where there's just no grip at all. So what we do is uh, we simulate all four tires being very, very slick day.